Hey everyone, it's Shauna the Tax Goddess. Happy New Year. I have been out of the office. Uh, yesterday was my first day back. And of course, I come back to some super interesting news. Somebody, somebody, very fascinating, is using the tax goddess name and attempting to hire people on Facebook and all over the place. So I wanted to set the record straight, okay? Tax goddess, of course, we are hiring. We are always looking for amazing people to join our team. A little, little family over here, 93 team members and growing, uh, always looking to add more. And uh, But please, 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 tax goddess and my, my people will never over messenger ask you for your social security number or your personal information like birthdays and last names and all, all of those kinds of things okay so i just wanted to film a quick little thing here um it's certainly very flattering nice to be popular oh. that somebody is trying to use our name i suppose but you know after 20 years if that's what's going to happen i guess it's the way of the world you know the irs did of course they have been really hunting scammers people that are out there trying to scam people and uh i guess i guess our name so please be careful with the tax goddess name if you are looking to be hired please make sure that you're reaching out directly to my hr team you can find them at hr at tax goddess.com so if you are looking to be hired by tax goddess please 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 look directly to hr at tax goddess.com we've received three telephone calls today from people telling us that they were being reached out over messenger to get jobs so please 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 guys watch out for scammers now you know 100 percent that tax goddess is always here for tax strategy so i want to bring up a scam a big scam that happened and the irs has what they now call their voluntary disclosure program so uh we are going to switch topics here for a second and talk about the erc voluntary disclosure program. So the very long story short here is that the ERC, so if you guys remember during COVID, we had PPP, which was the money you got a loan, but then the government forgave it. You had EIDL where the government gave out huge loans, big, big dollars, right? And that's a loan and you have to repay it. And the third one was the ERC, employee retention credit. Now, good or bad, <laughs> there were people out there that were doing some fly-by-night stuff, okay? And they were telling business owners that they could qualify for the ERC, for the employee retention credit, even though they had no employees, even though they weren't in business during COVID. They, they effectively filed fraudulent filings with the federal government. Now, good or bad, a lot of these fly-by-night companies took that information, actually, you know, submitted it to the government. A lot of business owners got checks, but the business owner maybe didn't realize that they didn't qualify or they didn't understand the rules. So the IRS has actually put a complete moratorium on sending out any more ERC checks until the federal government starts going application by application and actually checking the paperwork. So instead of just printing money and sending checks out, they are now checking piece by piece the paperwork. Now, as they started to check piece by piece the paperwork, they found a ton, we're talking millions, millions, apparently, in fraudulent claims for the ERC. So the IRS created the ERC Employee Retention uh, Credit Voluntary Disclosure Program. So let me show you guys the, uh, the screen here, because this is something I definitely want you guys to see. Now, really what this is and what it's saying is, Let's see if I can make this any bigger here. Uh, really what this is and what it's saying here is if you claimed and received the employee retention credit, but you are ineligible, okay? Basically meaning you claimed it, you got the money, but you shouldn't have, you shouldn't have claimed it, okay? Um, I want you guys please to go check out the voluntary disclosure program, okay? Really what this thing is, is you can repay the money, Okay, they won't come after you criminal, criminal charges if you file and you keep the money and they find you, okay? So they won't come after you. Uh, they are talking about waiving interest. They are talking about waiving penalties for this. Um, they're even talking about you only need to repay 20% if you receive the credit on your return or as a refund. So you even get to keep, I'm sorry, repay 80%. You get to keep 20% of the money, even if it's not actually yours, which I have never seen the IRS been nice ever about things like this. Uh, they're giving you that 20% as non-taxable income. Okay. So, um, and really I can tell you why they're doing that. A lot of the people that filed these fraudulent claims that didn't realize they were fraudulent claims 
were actually taken advantage of by some of these fly-by-night companies where they were charging a 20, 25, 30% of the total fee. So the IRS is really trying to cover those people. Okay. Now, some of the biggest things here, who can apply, you do have to meet all of the requirements on this page to apply. Um, and if you just type in, go to Google, type in IRS ERC Voluntary Disclosure Program, it'll take you right here, guys, okay? Um, and, uh, you know, you're, you cannot be currently under criminal investigation, okay? You can't already be reversed to ERC zero, so you do have to meet uh, these qualifications, okay? Um, and you do have to prepare special forms. So 15434, the SS10, okay? So you, you got to do, there's some special forms. So uh, my commentary here, all right, guys, uh, scams are abound, all right? So two things, if you were a business owner, uh, be watching your own social media profiles. I, I was um, honored, floored, I don't know, that somebody is using tax goddess's name to try to hire people. That is not tax goddess. If you're trying to look for a job, that's not tax goddess, okay? So please, please, please be careful of that. Uh, but two, there are scammers all over the place. And you guys know, I always talk about tax strategy. The ERC was a, is a great tax strategy if you qualify, if you qualify. If you do not, I would highly recommend that you come look at this. If you're not sure, if you're like, well, I, I think I did, I read the rules, but like, I'm not, I'm not sure now. This is the kind of stuff Tax Goddess does, okay? Now, we only help our clients with ERC, but if you're looking at this tax strategy, there's a million other tax strategies that can apply. So if you're looking for tax strategies, of course, you know where to go, who to call, reach out to the team, book an appointment, okay? And if you have any questions, don't hesitate to reach out. So Thanks so much, guys. And uh, please, please watch out for scammers, okay? If it's not the official tax goddess, uh, be very careful. All right. Thanks so much, everyone, and have a great day. We'll talk to you later. Bye.